now we move on to the second school the second prescriptive school of strategic management and this is planning school before i talk anything about the planning school i would like to share with you that you will feel in the first three schools that these are interrelated and there is overlap of discussion because reason is this that planning school is built on the design school and the next school which would be the positioning school it is built on the planning school actually these three are the prescriptive schools which deal with the should be approach of strategy development rather than what is approach so these three schools are not only overlapping but also interdependent and you would find out the assumptions of one school are also applicable in the other school now having said this before moving to the essence of the planning school i would like to share with you that what does planning mean always remember scholars that whenever you are dealing with plan or planning actually this process is concerned with answering to three questions or providing answer to three questions the question number 1 is where we are the question number 2 is where we want to go and question number 3 is how will we get there so if you provide answer to these three questions actually you are developing a plan for something for example the first question deals with your situation analysis where we are what are our strengths and weaknesses or what are the opportunities and strengths what are the opportunities and threats in the environment the second question deals with your objective setting where do we want to go and the third one is actually concerned with your hard core strategy in the sense that how will we get there your alternative courses and choices of attaining your objective so remember these three questions are all about plan and planning now we move on to our discussion on the planning school as written that strategy formation as a formal process as in the design school the essence was conception in the planning school the essence is formal process i would like to share with you that that design school there was a design our design concept was there there was steps in the design school for strategy formulation and implementation but those all were informal and those informal things were actually not suitable for managers to put the things to practice so in the 1970s where actually the planning school also started emerging in 1960s but in 1970s it fully emerged it fully actually evolved and this planning school built on the design school offered a number of formal processes to actually put the strategy to practice so the planning school is building on the design school and it its main contribution is this that it has offered number of formal processes steps and techniques and tools which are now used in the world for planning purpose and it is the very school which has influenced not only the governmental organizations but also the private sector organizations and inspired from this school or under the influence of this school for different organizations government and private sector they developed their planning departments and these planning departments now support or they undertake the planning process or the strategy development process in most of the organizations now we move on further to understand the steps in the basic strategic steps and strategic model planning model in the planning school there are six steps and i am sure that you all are familiar with these steps because these steps under the approach of how to do you have already studied in your undergraduate courses now let's take them one by one briefly number 1 the objective setting stage under the planning school it is believed that the first stage of strategy development is to set your objectives first you set your objectives that actually where do you want to go where you want to take your organization to and it is similar to setting your vn and mission statement after you have set your objectives under the planning school it is prescribed that you need to do the external audit this is external audit stage this is external audit stage and in the design school that was external analysis difference between the word analysis and audit is this in analysis things were 
performed in design school informally but under the planning school now there are set tools and techniques which are formally used to conduct audit for your external environment and during the audit of your external environment you try to find out the same opportunities and threats after that you move on to the third part this is the internal audit stage this internal audit stage is a very very important stage and similarly it is audit now not simple analysis this is not only a guesswork rather now there are specific tools and techniques you must have studied under your undergraduate courses by which the organization's internal body is audited its different departments are audited its resources are audited its competences are audited its cap capabilities are audited and resultantly you find out the strengths and the weaknesses of the organization then you moved on to the fourth one once you have the objectives you have the opportunities and threats you have the strengths and weaknesses now you are in a position to evaluate your strategy now the strategy evaluation stage mean in this stage you just try to generate the strategic options and after generating them you evaluate them once actually you weigh them you check the cost benefit analysis of alternative courses or patterns of your organization then you move on to the fifth stage this is strategy operationalization stage what is different between the strategy evaluation stage and strategy operationalization stage in strategy evaluation stage you actually evaluate different you actually weight different alternatives alternative paths organization can take May, maybe you evaluate should we open up our own branches for expansion which is called organic growth or should we go for the franchise which is inorganic growth i mean these are the two different options and both options have got the plus and minus in organization it is evaluated once it is selected that we'll go with our own branches strategy is selected now there is a the time to operationalize your strategy under the operationalization now details department level and different uh, division level plans are developed budgets are allocated so all the details are now finalized in the fifth stage which is strategy operationalization stage then you move on to the scheduling the whole process now in the sixth stage under the planning school there are hardcore timelines attached with every step with every activity and you might have observed that if you have worked in some organization or if you are planning to work in the uh, large scale organizations always remember there there is always a calendar of activities and this calendar of activities actually has stemmed from the strategic planning department and this offers certain timelines and these timelines are hardcore timelines in organizations it is believed if these are not met if these are not followed the organization can be at risk so ladies and gentlemen these are the six steps under which the planning school offers or prescribes the overall strategic planning process now we move on to the a diagram which is just for a reference purpose and it is it has also been taken from the strategy safari of henry mintz book this actually uh, in its form just provides you a picture of something that how actually under the planning school the planning process is performed you can yourself view that there are three parts premises mean assumptions there is planning there is implementation and review remember that even under the planning school all the three stages are separate there are certain assumptions premises are there then there is planning and you can see that here there are missions there are uh, strategic plans there are the mid range plans there are there are uh, uh, sub discipline plans there are goals there are targets and there is implementation this is how under the planning school things are prescribed to move under the strategic planning thank you very much